The Simple Little Daisy One day in the beautiful garden, all the red and pink roses heard the florist says. A white flower would look beautiful, among them. They all started whispering that a white rose would make their already attractive garden even more beautiful. A few days later, the florist walked over with a white bag, and put the flower in the soil among the roses. When he revealed the flower, all the roses were astounded to see a simple white daisy, rather than a white rose. When the florist left, the roses all just stared at the daisy in disgust. The daisy felt very bad and started to shrink on its own. After a few days, the rose bullying got even worse, and they started saying many bad things that made Daisy's health worsen. When the daisy started going yellow in the stem, the florist noticed the deteriorating health of his flower, and thought maybe it was feeling lonely among all the roses. So, he decided to plant another beautiful flower in his amazing garden. A purple tulip was introduced to the roses and the daisy. The roses were in awe of the tulip's beauty, and they all had welcomed the new flower with open arms. Upon seeing such a beautiful flower, the daisy felt even worse. The purple tulip noticed the daisy shrink on itself beside him. What happened, little guy? Why are you feeling so bad? He asked Daisy. Instead of letting the daisy answer for himself, the roses start telling the tulip all about how he doesn't belong with them and how his simplicity makes the garden inferior. What the roses didn't know was that the tulip had magic abilities. He was furious at the roses' treatment of the daisy. He said, How could you say that? A garden is always more beautiful when there are many different flowers in it. It only becomes bad when the flowers start dying. And look what you did to this poor daisy. He used his magic and grew thorns all over their stems and then said, Now look at you everyone will be afraid to pick you because now you will hurt people. The roses all felt very bad because they realized that the daisy had been hurt because of their words. They apologized to him. Now, no rose is ever arrogant of his beauty. Whenever they look at their thorns, they are reminded that every beauty has its own imperfections, but everyone is perfect in their own way.